to the special edition of Hot Talk Africa to mark Ghana's 58th independence celebration. We know that Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African country to gain independence in 1957 and once they opened the door, mm -hmm. all African countries joined. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we went out and we spoke to a few people and this is what they had to say about the celebrations in Ghana. As of now, the economy is not a good one and most Ghanaians are not happy. If you, if you, if you go out and then you, you can even talk to people out there, they will tell you that they are not even thinking about the uh, independence, which is the uh, Friday, because after all these years of independence, we are still where we are today. We are, there's not been any progression, there's not been any... Uh, I can say we are still facing the same problems we used to face. We still depend on foreign donors for funds. We can't generate enough funds to solve our, our own problems. And this, I wonder how this uh, independence day will be like, because a lot of people are not actually thinking about the system. I can say there's a lot of disappointment in the air because our leaders are still failing us as a country to do the, to deliver the promises. To live on the promises they they, 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 they promised the Ghanaian during the election. So I can say it's a mixed feeling, others are disappointed, others are disappointed, others are hurt, others have a bad feeling about it. But overall we are a country and it's our independence, so we still have to celebrate it whether we like it or not. The private sector don't have enough access to credit because it is very expensive. And we all know that the private sector is, is the engine of growth in terms of the economy. So if they can hardly get access to capital or credit, then the economy is going to squeeze. Another issue that is the border is what we have titled in Ghana as the doom, so that is energy crisis. You go off 20, 24 hours of the national grid and come on 12 hours, and which means that five days in a week, you can hardly get electricity for 36 hours. And so, which essentially is going to make sure that uh, productivity is, is going to be affected. And so, essentially, um, if you look at all these things, and again, there's so much corruption in the country. It's mainly because we are not managing the economy well. And with IMF coming on board, we know of their conditions as well. Our economy now, as it stands, is not at its best. We have come this far. A number of times we ask ourselves, has our independence really helped us? Or we did rush into it. One could say we rushed into it by allowing the whites to leave us early without developing us. Another person would say that we took our independence boldly and then we accepted it. But our leaders, most of in our independence there is more of official activities than bringing it to the doorsteps of a Ghanaian, letting the Ghanaian understand why he or she is celebrating independence. For the feeling of our independence, we are not feeling it because people don't see the need to celebrate independence where at this time, crucial time in, in, in our country, we certain basic things that we need to have we don't have so then what is the need to celebrate independence when we don't have basic things like water we don't have basic things like energy like electricity what is there to celebrate there's nothing there to celebrate the life situation is very terrible and basically you need life for everything i'm trying to run a little bakery from the house and it's very very hard because there's no light most of the time, even if I have an order, I have to wait for two, three days before I can bake. That's when they decide to bring lights. A lot of people are being laid off right now. People don't have jobs. People are frustrated. I don't see the need for celebrating this independence. I think our leaders just have to do something so that they can make Africa better. Let small-scale businesses grow. Give them the facilities they need to do their businesses so that this country can grow and if it grows and there are jobs, people will have no reason to go outside, go climb boats and die or around the desert and die just because they want to get out of Africa. I'm sorry Ghana. Hi guys, welcome back. You're watching Hat Talk Africa. My name is Amaka and I'm Thelma. We have a very special guest here with us today. His name is Mr. Mingle. He's an accountant and he is Ghanaian. Full blown Ghanaian. <laughs> the reason for the today's edition. <laughs> so Thank far, sorry, you want to say something? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, Don't I'm worry. A, I'm, a, I'm a proud Ghanaian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> very proud Ghanian. yeah, very special guest today. Thanks for coming. But um, I just wanted to highlight some stuff, some clips. 
we can see that some of them are not happy yeah. so far yes. and they don't want to actually celebrate the independence they talked about small scale businesses not being able to trade and they also talked about um electricity you guys are running after nigeria they do so in ghana do so. Do so. Do so. So. yeah the, lady, the, the guy on the clip said it. yeah do so. Do so. but um you guys i don't know how you guys are gonna cope you guys should not try no, nigeria don't style, style. I, I don't, um yeah there's a there's, there's a big problem in ghana now with electricity and mm. i think it's, things have deteriorated i mean you're lucky to have electricity for one day it mm. just goes off wow. you can go off for 36 hours it's on and off it's affected yeah. small scale businesses yeah. it's, it's terrible welcome to Nigeria. And so, so there's a new acronym doom so which, which is not it's not uh, something nice but unfortunately that's where we are what does that mean doom so um it's light off light so, off darkness light, darkness yeah wow. virtually, virtually there's no well, they cannot see the light. They can't <laughs> see the light. All yeah. right. Okay. How do you see Ghana, or in general, what's your general feeling? Um, we we do relatively well compared to um, uh, African. Uh, Let me West tell you, I'm Nigerian. <laughs> I we will do, defend we, my terms, country anytime. In terms of in terms of um, stability, in terms of democracy, we've had um, we've not. I think since 1992, we've always changed governments to the ballot box. And okay. It's an achievement. Really? Yes. Oh, um, so you guys never had a military rule? We've had military rule, but, but since things have, since 1992, we've not. So they've had we, we, stable we, we, We've always changed. We, we've had our issues, but it's always been through peace. It's been through the ballot box. Wow. And that's very Coffee. significant. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's, that's a headway. Tons of Ghanaians. Uh, and uh, in terms of our. Uh, our neighbors, um, Ivory Coast was a very peaceful country, mm. and it's shocking because yeah. it was it was one of the most pe it was the most peaceful country <laughs> in West Africa, and then there's there's been civil wars. So, so you guys are leading the way in peace. So we, we we thank God for where we are. Things are not okay. Uh, things are not too good as we are talking about uh -huh. Dumso, uh -huh. talking about the depreciation of the city. Uh -huh. We're talking about corruption, which uh -huh. is endemic in Africa. That's in, in all, in everywhere. In, in in our, it's in not, it's not in the Europe, Ghana. in but, America, but, in Asia, it's there. It's there, but mm. um, there are different levels. <laughs> so <laughs> there are different levels of corruption. No, that's another, that's a topic Ghana. for another day. Uh, <laughs> corruption is a topic on its own. I, I, do, I, I can't, I don't have the index, but I do, I know. It's it's a problem in Africa, and that's mm. because we have we are blessed with resources, and okay. we just have to put have a package where we have we sell we 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 package ourselves properly. Yeah. And there's so much corruption; things can. Yeah, go first on. of all, we're going to talk about two things: the currency and the small scale business. Um, Tama, right. you're going to say yeah. something about the yeah. I mean, business. consider you know the, the the clips that we saw. We 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 saw that there was um, a lot of complaints about the mm -hmm. small scale businesses. And this is because a lot of them don't have access to credit facilities, mm -hmm. and so they're not able to run their businesses. Mm -hmm. And even the Doomso issue is affecting a lot of them. There yes. was a lady who, who was trying to run a bakery wow. from her home, and she's not able to bake for mm -hmm. two days. Mm -hmm. The orders would just be there. And so they're, they're, they're really, really, really suffering, the small scale business. And we know that the private sector is, is the backbone of the economy, but yes. once this is not happening, there's bound to be problems. Yes. Virtually. Every small scale industry is affected by doom so as, right. as, it's, as it's properly um, mm. as it's called because um, if with recently there were cold stores, people yes. selling drinks. Yes. It's, if you are running a business, Fish. you need your your phone to be charged. Wow. Now there's, there's, there are there, there are people are charging their phones. People are making money by charging phones. Wow. This is car no, This is Nigeria. This, wow. this, this is Nigeria. <laughs> using car batteries to charge phones, wow. um, and it's 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 affected. The the, the electricity is affected. Everything, everything. everything it, of yes. course, nothing functions Business without power. Power, yes. Yeah, so it's it's very very bad. Yeah. The, the other thing is that people also raise the concern about you know Ghana having to go to IMF to for a bailout for kind a bailout, of thing yeah. yeah and so there's a bit of tension people are tensed about it and yeah. they're worried about the implications of imf coming in mm -hmm. because there will be some stringent rules which will squeeze mm. people and apparently tax tax will be inflated mm -hmm. yeah so people are concerned 
And well, well, what, as an accountant, what do you think about the? Um, I also think um, it's uh, there's there are issues with um, keeping to whether the money's given would even be used judiciously, exactly. and that is the that that is the main questions people are asking because we had a case recently where where we, when we receive donor money, the donors are concerned about how the money is going to it's be spent, be spent. <laughs> because. Um, a recent case is about um, um, a loan from Exim Bank where they, we spent money, $1.8 million on 38 luxurious cars. I do not what know. What project was that for you? It's for, it's, for, it's for an electrification project. And really? I, so and, I, and I do not know how a Lexus or a Chrysler is going to help in electrification. You would think they would need 4 by 4 vehicles to, to, to go to the villages where the electrification projects are being it's being worked on, and yeah. you would see people, a minister, and people living in Accra buying luxurious state of the art Chrysler yeah. and, and, and uh, Lexus. And mm. you wonder wow. what, how is the donor money? money and I think, yeah. I think that's the fear of the, 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 the people giving out the money. And so yeah. sometimes they have to. But they benefit yeah. from it, though. Let me, I'm sorry to say, because they do have that, charge they interest do rates. Benefit exactly. from yeah, they do. They do benefit, benefit for, from, they do benefit for it, from it. But it's giving true. You. You but we have to make sure that we it's been used we, the we, purpose we, for which is being collected it's been is, judiciously yeah. used um okay. to, to execute what whatever we want to achieve yes. because uh, the problem is we take the money and we we deliver shoddy work we mm -hmm. we give out contracts to our cronies and it's <laughs> it's it's not at the end of the day we have to pay that money back yes so let us try and use the money judiciously. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. yeah in, in terms of small scale businesses, we also see foreign investors coming into Ghana. Mm. Talked about um, yeah. Tolo Oil, yeah. and um, it's been in the news as well. We get foreign investors coming into Ghana to invest. Yeah. So is that what is attracting them? Obviously, you're saying that the interest rate is high, that um, small scale businesses are not benefiting mm. from it, but we mm. can see foreigners like attracted to that. What, what's um, going on? You guys trade into currencies. Uh, of, we, we, trade, we, trade, we trade with a CD, but people are still quoting prices in dollars. I think it's the stability. <laughs> I think it's the stability yeah, because um, for whatever, the, for all the problems going on, we don't resolve our problems. We try to resolve our problems peacefully. So you think it's so? It's so it's the stability attracting it's, it's attracting. it's attracting foreigners, and um, I think yeah, it's so mainly the stability. Yeah. yeah. So in your in your own opinion, what do you think is the way forward for these um, CDs and Ghana quotations? You're either quoted in CDs or in dollars. dollars. If you want to buy a mobile phone SIM, you, you can buy that in dollars. You can pay for that. If you're in the airport, they're quoting dollars. What, um, why, there's why there's, why there's been a directive from the government where okay. it's a directive, but as to whether it's being followed, it's, it's another, another thing. question. Because, um, we we have to stick to the CD, mm -hmm. but officially that's the the the, the, the line they are towing. But mm -hmm. in in practice, it's not working. People are people. You price you 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 cannot you quote something for two thousand Ghana CDs and yes. tomorrow it's the value is it, gone. It's gone. So people will tell you officially this is the amount, and what? then they have to quote. I think it's the double currency you're using that's attracting the foreign investors anyway. Uh, I, uh, I strongly believe it's the dollars because the dollars is fairly stable. And that is yeah. why people are they coming can in. Their, they, their they money, can, yeah. Yes, they can get their money back. So yeah. I, I think, I believe that it's because of the um, currency, currency, the currency you guys use anyway. So far, so good. Our Ghanaian friends, it's happy independence. Britain. In spite of all the. Um, crisis around Ghana you see Boko Haram and Ebola and all that you guys have managed to keep that out of your country I think you guys should be proud of that you guys have done well I want to say be strong keep on leading the way in peace like you've always done and um, yes Thank and you. The, and the Black Stars nearly made us proud. Who <laughs> made you proud? Oh, <laughs> the, 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 the Black Stars. 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 The 
anyway thank you for joining us and we'll leave you with one thing i mean it's it's enough for us to talk about all of this mm. but what can we do to make africa a better place send us your views send us your comments uh, our email address is on the screen. We are on Twitter. We're in Hat Talk Africa. Yes. We, we, we challenge you to take the chain challenge mm -hmm. because we can talk. Yeah. We can complain about the government, but we are the government. We are the government and we need to do something in our own little way to make our continent a better place. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.